how's it going? Uh, I would give I would give how it's going a solid six out of ten. You know, it could be a little better, but it could be a little <laughs> worse. Hard to say. How about you? Yeah, not too bad. Just up late working and thought, you know. Um, yeah, what do you do for work? Uh, I'm CTO of a software company, so um, yeah, been kind of grinding away on that for a while. Okay. Um, so, Most yeah, of the guys been, that I know that work with like anything IT related, they're usually smarter about the game, but then don't play it like super well because they don't have like the the time, and they value the knowledge over the like in game experience, you know. A hundred percent. Um. So, my co-founder has been playing the game since he was about like could walk, basically. Um. Uh. And like, I mean, he's like diamond easily. Like, I can't even remember where he gets to. Um. And uh, he like, I don't know how familiar you are with like pro scene and stuff. Uh, his go, his handle is Desertu. He used to cast for the game to some degree, and now he casts for like Rainbow Six and shit. Um. So um but yeah i've got a couple of colleagues that play it as well i'm just like yeah cool i'd love to be able to play this as well as you guys but i need to know everything in and out i need to know every item stats everything before i can even think about it because otherwise it just freeze so it took me a while to get into it i see see <laughs> then the better approach is like obviously just know enough you know and then go into <laughs> it like a total dummy see what happens yeah that's pretty much what i feel like so yeah and then like um i've always had like yeah, you know, uh, issues with like ranked anxiety in every game, which is yeah, that's a problem for my therapist. So that's and I'm getting over that. Well, uh, I got over that a while ago, but like getting into league when it's like so fucking toxic, especially it was like, hey, jungle looks fun, which is a great place to start when you're brand new and playing with people online. Um, so yeah, I, I, I started, I quit, and then I was like, eh, I kind of want to come back, and here I am. So okay. And then your thing says that you're a buy main looking to fix these mistakes um, and then plus get some points for areas to focus on improving almost in silver and want to keep progressing. So, yeah, without even viewing the gameplay immediately, I'm thinking it's something like that. What we were talking about where you need mm -hmm. to go about this, where you won't have all the knowledge and you won't have all the info, but can move forward anyways. So, yeah, I'm thinking that we just focus on like, let's say three basic things. Cool. So with Vi, let's see, where do we think we want to start here for our first thing? Um, so, I mean, the clear, I'm okay at. I know it's not the quickest of, like, clears. Um, I actually caught your video from watching her the other day, and I was like, hey, I'm not, like, far off of your video, your clear speed on that, although I realize you probably don't play Vi super huge amount, probably would shave a good I played her a ton at the beginning of the season. She was fucking crazy. <laughs> when the dragons were stronger, <laughs> oh my god, I love her. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, there's the, the, that's the okay. clear. And yeah, then, so there's the yeah. clear, but I'm thinking that's, that's farm. So like, let's okay. say if we were playing a lane, right? It's like how we get our golden XP. And since we're in the jungle, it's going to be through doing that. Where you path to and whatnot, that's a whole different ball game. But what's important with getting the farm is that you're getting strong. The faster you get it, the better. And the more you get, the better. With well, quote yeah. legends. Faster, better. Yeah. And then for the second thing, what are you thinking? What comes after farm? Um probably say like knowing the like knowing the matchups i suppose a little bit like uh, which is definitely where i uh think i'm getting okay on but like yeah knowing like uh tracking like where the enemy jungler is and like how i'm gonna like match up against them like should i try and contest this scuttle should i like try and invade them that sort of thing okay um, so knowing the champion matchup yeah. and then tracking the enemy jungler mm -hmm. i think that's skipping a step Okay. So you farm, um, okay. you get strong, and then what? Items. So true, true. We can't buy the <laughs> items. I'm, uh, I'm thinking it's just the fights. Do you ever play Call yeah. of Duty? Actually, yeah, quite a lot. Okay, like let's say if you're coaching someone in Call of Duty, right? Mm -hmm. They don't have to know the matchup of like this gun versus that gun. What they need to know is like if you go around this corner in ADS, like at the right time. You know, you see the red dot on the mini map, then bang, that guy's dead. Something like that. And because the damage, like, all comes from experience in a way. 
that makes sense. So I will, I will say when you look through my OPG.gg, uh, um, because I was like, you know, you're going through trends, like my damage is like the lowest in the game, like <laughs> almost every game, which is a whole thing. So I'm, I'm very aware that'll be a thing I need to pick up on. So yeah, so with jungle, it's like you farm into the right spot. Mm -hmm. And then when you end the clear, you have a lot of time to look for a play. And then how you do those plays is going to determine like where things go. If you skip camps for the play, probably bad. And then if you take the wrong play, then it's a learning experience. It's fine. Like Call of Duty, you dash around the corner, you die. And then the next time, maybe we <laughs> walk around the corner, maybe die. And then next time, dolphin dive. And then next time, jump crouch, ADS, you know, <laughs> pre-fire. Yeah, yeah. Really rocking. So, fuck, what do I even put for this? So there's farm and then plays? What are we thinking? Yeah. I mean, I, th I think the plays is probably the big thing, is knowing, like, and knowing when to go in, I guess, is the, the right thing on that. Um, okay, so we get good farm, we win the play, and then what does that earn us? Uh, that gets us the gold, gets us to spend, spend it on the items. It does give us gold, it does give us the items, but that's it. What can we take? What can we take on the map if we've beaten the enemy, you know? And then I take the objectives, take... Exactly, the exactly. Yep. We get the objectives. And what are the objectives? Dragons, heralds, barons. And? And also the turrets and nexuses and all that shit. Hell yeah, and the turrets. Don't forget <laughs> those. Because sometimes it's simple. Like, sometimes you kill them and it's like, push lane, take one turret plate, reset. Mm -hmm. Or just push with your team. Alrighty, objectives. We are fucking rocking. Okay. So, do you want to look at a replay? We could talk a bit more about Vaya. I could look at your op.gg. It's really up to you. Um, I have to start with like the op.gg. I've got a few replays on Insights as well, but I can try and work out how to link those to you. Um, that's that, first of all. Healthy Boy J. Yeah, easy boy. <laughs> Everyone imagines the L. Um, so. See, now they're trying to pin me by being uh, dyslexic, but I'm just a little sure. lazy. I'm, I'm just used to it. So yeah, on a bit of a on a bit of a streak, which is nice. And I'm literally, if I I think if my math is right, if I win the next one, silver. So, you know, Big. Uh, yeah, cool. That'd be the highest. This is the highest I've ever got. Um, I think maybe last season I got to bronze. Um, and then went all the way back down to bronze four, if I remember rightly. I can't remember. So. <laughs> okay, so you started playing again back here, and then bang, and then kind of figuring out things around. This is looking okay, honestly. This is looking okay. It looks because I mean, shit, just playing Vi. What got you to just one trick Vi? Um, honestly, I. Uh... I mean, I think Arcane's a big part of it, but uh, I think just like the play style. And um, my co-founder, as I said, he's said when he started playing, he was like, Vi, Diana, that is all he played, pretty much. And I was like, cool, all right, fine. He pointed me at the game for like half an hour and then just left. <laughs> and then so I just like stuck with it. <laughs> so, um, you know, I keep, I keep thinking ideally I want to pick up another champion. Um, uh, like, no Briar is, is, is more of a just having someone else to like, uh, on the off chance that I get like, uh, I can't dodge like multiple times or whatever because Vi keeps going missing, which I don't think is going to happen for a while. But um... and is there anything particular that you're looking for? Um, so I mean, the low damage is the thing. If you bring up like any of the the matches, I mean, even that ten and four one, I think like I'm coming in pretty low on. Um, thing. and like i'm not trying to be like hiding away behind a wall and then popping over with q and like just kill stealing it does like um uh, i think there's an element of like i'm trying not to be an idiot and take a bad fight and then the bad fight ends up with my team dead and two or three of them i think this game i got a triple kill because three of them were on like about three hp left and i was like great cool thank you very much and um a couple of them had shutdowns i was like i don't actually feel like i earned any of this gold but fuck it i'll take it so so am i hearing so that I... you feel like an imposter 
it's a little bit of that and a little bit like i think i'm maybe just like late to fights I, like i'm it's it's trying to work out when i'm the engage and when i need to like peel around the back and try and like uh, um get a pick and yeah like uh and uh, the amount of times that i die i'm just like huh i was I must have been in the wrong place because all of a sudden I got hit by everything everybody on the other team had and just like exploded. So um... I see. So the tricky part that you're saying is that you're struggling to find the right time to engage. Yeah, it's like right time to engage, right time to like position and then like just not like kind of get fucked. And like, um, yeah, there's a couple of times I'll end up like, although I would say I'm getting better at it, is like getting caught out by a couple of like enemy champs and be like oh okay cool like you know like it was 2v1 3v1 they had the job on me and I'm like i'm just dead like i deal with it but yeah but with the engages it's like you go in wrong you will be mm -hmm. in like a 1v5 and yeah. if you go in late too late fight's over yeah. so if that's the case right where do you want to be <laughs> uh. <laughs> if we don't want to be hold on we don't want to be all the way over here mm -hmm. we don't want to be all the way over here where should we be then uh, I mean, probably sitting off to the side most of the time, like waiting to try to jump in. But okay, I can agree with this. Like, if you're in the side sidelines, mm -hmm. I call these the sidelines where, like, we're in the bushes near the lanes. But I'm also thinking if, like, we don't want to go too far backwards and we don't want to go too far forwards, then we could be in the middle. Yeah. And so long that you're upholding that middle position, then you have the mm -hmm. option to go forward or backwards. Yeah. That yeah, and then if we're playing with options, then we really have a chance. And that that becomes true with the jungle path, too. If you full clear into the river, you then have options of ganking bot lane, jungle, <laughs> mid, cross through mid, do topside scuttle, gank top, things like that. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. And then it looks like the build's kind of inconsistent, but actually, yeah. the more I scroll, it's like a hell of blades addiction. Uh, so it was for a long time it like that was a it stuck it worked it was the only room page I had saved and um, I have very recently like the last few games starting to run Conqueror starting to run um, the inspiration tree and doing okay with it because a, a big part of it was like I was also hell of blades and just buying kind of what felt bursty stuff which I think was probably meant I just if I did go into a fight too early I just popped and died whereas with this stuff I hopefully have a bit more durability um, which has been some part working um but yeah but for a long time like on runes i was like cool this works i don't want to change it and like very much a case of like um definitely a fear of like experimenting with a new rune seeing like, what the that. fuck happens yeah I get that. um so like the only thing i'd change would be alacrity to tenacity based on how much cc their team had just to be like i just do not want to get pinned down at all uh pretty much always run green smite and then yeah if they're running something like you know bygar or whatever i'll, I'll make sure i have uh Merc Treads as well, but... Okay, so, um, so you're most comfortable with Hello Blades, but then just recently switching to this. Which I think the Conqueror page is, like, generally more useful. Have you used PTA at all? Uh, no, I mean, that was the thing, again, like, on the subject of, like, not wanting to, like, change the build. There was your, I think your video the other day, you were like, I'm running Lethal Tempo, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not about to do that. Like, Lethal is the <laughs> nuts when it's good, holy shit. I was, I mean, because I don't think you ran, as I was going to say, like, isn't... Any force like better for attack speed, but I don't think that's what you picked up, and that's one of the things. Like I'm so I'm, I'm on the Vi mains subreddit occasionally, and I was like, oh yeah, run Trinity Force. I'm like, eh, tried it a bit, didn't really like deliver for me in any particular way. So yeah, Trinity Force is a weird item for her because like if you get it first, it sucks. So it's mm -hmm. like, what a do you do? We go Black Lever into Trinity, like it just feels weird. You're better off getting any secondary item, like any Mythic, mm -hmm. but. Right, so then what she wants in her build is AD and HP, and mm -hmm. she gets that through um, fucking Black Cleaver, Stride Breaker, Gore Drinker now. Like, she has a lot of options. Yeah, yeah, so but, but I mean, Cleaver, Cleaver tends to be my start when I'm remembering and not just autopiloting. Like, I'll try to get that first because I think it's actually like it'll usually be Cleaver Sunderer, and I think Cleaver's, as far as I'm understanding it, Cleaver's better stats for less gold one-to-one -one than Sundra, and then yep. like, uh, and because the Sundra does, like, uh, Mythic Passive doesn't mean shit when you don't have any legendaries, so. Right. If I, and right. I see that you're building the defensive boots a lot. I want you to try out just going boots lucidity every time, 
for now. Mm -hmm. And then, because right. that gives you way more offensive potential. Yeah, that would, I'd definitely, yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's it's tricky for me not to be like, oh, they've got like one bit of CC, I'll get like no trades. Uh, and try not to. But yeah, okay, I'll do that. That's right, so okay. crazy. More Q, more Flash, more ulti. Like, you're shitting me for, mm -hmm. for like, with free boots, it's like, I should know how expensive it is. 450, 600. Surely it's 600 mm -hmm. if it's 900. Anyways. And then with the rest of the build, like, you always build the Eclipse. It seems. Um, so that is very much, and this is where I'm like a little bit relying on the recommended page in League. It will pop up obviously with like three different mythics, and uh, right. like based on who it's um, like going to be useful against. Where, and I'm just sort of like I will tend to lean toward what I'm like most concerned about being a threat on their side of the team. Uh, so like if I was to. Uh, go with like the the last game looking at that list of people. Sorry, oh, I'm sure I got my screen. Uh, uh, my bad. That's yeah, right. Uh, um, so, uh, about this one, Divine Sunder against the beefy boys and the big bad. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. So that one was like that. That, that one, I mean, uh, the Pen Punk was like Warwick straight up because Warwick used to be on Permavan because fuck that guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, now it's Nocturne um uh yeah so i think for the most part i actually don't know i'm looking at that game and don't know why i went uh eclipse in that last game because maybe just because i just didn't really give a shit about Sion and alistair and was just like i'd rather just pop the other three quickly. that's fine so what i'm thinking um, though is like in real life though if you're gonna ult anyone on the steam comp you need to be very tanky mm -hmm. so any of the ADHP items that we can get help us do that a whole lot better. Especially okay. with that new funny gore drinker. It gives you a lot of it uh, a lot of HP. Yeah, I've not again not tried gore drinker on it yet. It's one of those like ones I like need to try it even when it's not on the recommended page. True. And that's where I'm kind of like um for now I think it's best if you just do one build. Mm -hmm. So like one rune setup and one build until like you want to discern or try different things or it just strictly doesn't work for you so i think the conqueror page is fine yeah do I, I, i'm i'm kind of happy with that one now i'm stuck with it um for a bit so. okay and then for items what do you think um so cleaver um the boost of lucidity uh as is my instructions um the uh, I think Death Dance is pretty great on a pretty standard, isn't it? Um, I'm never sure about like the the magic version of that more. Yeah, um, like I'm also a little know. bit lower value for sure. Yeah, like I get it, and I'm just like, eh, I didn't really like. I, I don't feel like it really helps too much, particularly by the time I need it. Um, because it's always like four items, so I'm kind of like wondering about that. Um, and then. Uh, not a ton of the games really run that late. So like late game items, I've never really kind of like settled on anything. It would, again, it would tend to be whatever, uh, whatever the page is recommending to me. So. <laughs> you just take the. I, I quite like GA if I'm carrying, to be honest, to just be like you know the the rare occasion that happens, and just being like, cool, I can go in and you know really piss them all off. But yeah, um, I'm thinking something like Black Lever, Stride Breaker, and then maybe even Sterix is a third item. Because yeah, all of that just makes it bulky. Mm -hmm. Death Dance is good. It is like more dependent on enemy team comps. So it becomes a situational item. Whereas if you slammed all three of those items every game, you'd probably be having a good time. So Cleaver, Stripe Breaker, and Sterix. Okay. And that's if you want to. But I think if you limit it for now, then it helps you progress a whole lot faster. Because the lamest part about any game is getting over that fucking knowledge gap of things. And you can really run past that by just doing the same thing over and over and over. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, let's just there by that down. Um, we're going to have to go in there. Just this quarter. Oh. And. Uh, 
So that gives us an idea on the items, and honestly, just having default runes for now is probably for the best. Um, I know what that means. Ah, there we go. Um, cool. Um, yeah. Would you ever like? Because sometimes in like the chem punk, I usually end up completing because it's there and it's taking up half a page. But usually that's just me buying the the sword that goes into it. Just particularly like um uh have a few have a few like warwick pdsd games running around in my head that like i'm just like that guy's healing is insane um so i I buy the sword like pretty early on just be like okay cool i can contest this guy but um, yeah that can be fine yeah cool okie doke so you want to look at a replay sure uh i how the hell do I share a replay? <laughs> um, you send me the link and then on insights, what the, you've clicked the funny three dots and then there's some sort of share setting, uh, like a privacy setting that you also uh, have to deselect. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So on, I've got three on there. Um, I can't remember which oh wait, you can you can invite me to like your channel or your team or something like that, and then I can see all of them. Okay, that might work. Uh, the link. Here we go. Do yes, yes. I'm part of the team. Woohoo. Um So yeah, I've got the like the ten, the four, and the two are one are wins. The ten and the four is the most recent one from today. And then like the the Owen six was uh, I mean, not a great game. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it isn't a great game. I can't really remember why. I just remember going like, ah, for this shit. So, um, so which one do you think we should watch? Probably the lose, right? Because ultimately, it's about winning. Um, but I'd like it was one of those ones where I think like it. Felt, I'm trying to see if we can see the whole scoreboard anywhere. Uh, and two, like. Yeah, I mean, it finished 35-17, so it wasn't just me, but um, would definitely be good to know where I could have done better, so I guess, like, compensate. Because ultimately, like, you know, I'm not going to blame the team. Right. So. Okay, so which one so, of yeah, these? That's the left one, the 06 and 3. Okay. So, so look. 06 on by. It's going to be rough yeah. here. <laughs> it, 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 it was, yeah. I mean, Zach is, again, one of those champs that I'm just like, I just die a little inside when it gets picked, but I can't ban everyone, so. Oh yeah, the fucking Pantheon ha ha claimed having a bug, he kept spinning, spinning his hack speed for like the first five minutes. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing, bronze is a special place. Mm -hmm. The type of people you'll run into is really interesting. Okay, so why do you ward his blue? Uh, just so that I know where he starts, basically, more than anything. I'm pretty, like, uh, I, I only got off consoles, like, as a full-time console gamer, like, two years ago. Um, so, uh, my, like, general, uh, keyboard dexterity is a little over the place. And so, remembering to, like, snap down to, with the keys down to, to see if they, like, lost any health or when they turned up or anything like that. It's just, just not there. So, it's just easier to go, there's a wall, and then if I see a little red thing pick up, I know he's there. So. Okay. <sighs> Back to Call of Duty. There's a red dot on the mini map. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. So I'm trying. I'm trying to get like better at map awareness where possible. <laughs> Stop ping. You guys know you can mute them, right? <laughs> it was getting done that. Yeah. If someone does that shit twice, they're gone. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no. I I I see how quickly you mute. And I'm just like, uh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I I still need the pigs a little bit, but like, yeah. <laughs> like, especially the unranked to diamond ones. I, like, I forget they're not muted. I'm like, what? The, why? Who let you talk? Are you out of your mind? Danger, ping. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Okey So you see the Zach start blue. Does that tell you anything? Uh, they're always pathing up towards top lane. Okay. Um... I found myself skipping Krugs quite a lot, like not at the start, but like as the game goes on, I just find it so slow for Vi. Like, like 
Yeah, it depends on the tempo. So here we smite this, and you want to auto E auto the small one. And okay. then that deals enough damage to it, but also procs your passive. And it will be as fast as possible because that little guy is moving right into you. Mm -hmm. And then after the like passive you. is proc, then you just wail on the big one, saving the the E for the small golems. Mm -hmm. And that would speed these bad boys up quite a bit. Bang. Bang. Okay. I, I don't know if it'll go that far because the game wasn't that great, but one thing I, I am aware I need to get better of, I try very hard to kite the camps on the first clear and then I just forget all about it on the second clear and I just stand there and just take a beating. Um, which obviously is fine later on when they die in two E's, but yeah. Um, and I button mash, which I need to stop doing. <laughs> it's one way to start. You need to stop doing Yeah, good luck. I still do that shit. Yeah, the amount of times I just like Q E E, just like fucking don't wait for the autos, which is the thing I need to. All right, so Zach is path topside, and so have we. Would Zach invade you? Um, no, I don't normally worry too much about getting invaded at this point. Mostly hasn't happened much at all in bronze, to be honest. Um. So yeah, normally I'm just like watching the timer on the scuttle and sort of trying to gauge how I'm doing. This is not one of my faster clears if I because I try to be on Grump by 20 seconds left on scuttle, so that knows I'll get there in time for it. Otherwise, um, uh, I feel like I won't. I tend to save Smite to try and fight for the scuttle here rather than clearing quicker. That's fine. Vi does the Grump in blue so fast. Yeah, but that clear was slow. It's one of the things I'm, I'm liking about Briar, actually, so clear is so quick. <laughs> true, true. There's Zach, and so I did spot him. A job well done. All right, so you see Zach top here. You're in the river. Mm -hmm. What are your options? Um, So I saw Panth pathing back so it was like i figured he'd seen him as well and was maybe going to play it safe and so i was thinking i could move down towards the other scuttle and uh probably just get back onto golems and do it go for a second clear like didn't see allowy at this point kind of a minions pushing towards vi uh, vi gosso okay so you want to go to a scuttle uh could you invade the zack i didn't check his uh thing when i've got the the scoreboard up so i don't know i wouldn't know if he had anything on at that point like you would hope that. yeah you would hope that he has all of his camps cleared at that time yeah and yeah. then if you if pantheon and vi fight the zach and fjord do you guys win um i don't know fiora is one of the champs that i actually i'm just like i know she has a parry uh, and like I never had to particularly try her, so right. So um, this is tricky because you won't have this knowledge for a long time. Yeah, I think I think Zach's quite beefy. Fiora's kind of hard to hit. Like Ugly Panth has a couple of stuns and stuff, but I don't know. Um, I feel like my gut instinct is we have a little bit more damage. They have a little bit more sustain, and that sustain might beat out the damage. Would be the thing. So I don't think we would. Okay, like, you want it if they, if like you take a fight that keeps going. Mm -hmm. But what if you like Q, you know, we get lucky, we Q from the Fog of War onto Fiora, and then Pantheon layers his stun, you know, get her to like 100 ish HP. Then you mm -hmm. might have something, right? Yeah. Okay, so if that sort of opportunity presented itself, then you could look for it. But if it doesn't, then mm -hmm. you have two options. Um, don't go for the play. We have three options. Don't go for the play, or you can show up and then choose if you want to do something. And then three is like force the play <laughs> and see if you have the juice or not, which is the most destructive one that will ruin the game instantly. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> yeah, it was Pat Pantheon is picking up attack speed wasn't particularly filling me with confidence. So, um... uh, so what, which one do you think you would do here? Um... I think I'd still, I mean, knowing me, I probably would still just push down to Scuttle, which is, I think, what I did. Like, I'd maybe look 
because I did see him, I like uh, would be trying to keep an eye to see if he popped back up again top, and if he did, I'd go for his Gromp slash Wolves, um, because they should be coming back up about the same sort of time. Okay. Um, so if I saw him top, I'd try and like take some of his farm. I see. So if he ganks top, then you counter jungle his blue side. This is all fine. Step one, hit the farm. We're on it. We got the yeah. scuttle advantage. Good. But the fast part needs some work. In time. Yes. <laughs> yes, for <laughs> sure. Saw the ward. I think with the next parts coming up, like winning the plays and getting the objectives gives you more like reason to clear fast rather than clearing fast to clear fast. Maybe. If I can help open your eyes here, then that will play into it. There you Alrighty. go. And then a double scuttle. Mm hmm. Okay. And what are your options here? Um, so I don't know where, I can't remember who their ADC was, MF. Um, I don't know where MF is at this point. Um, could, turn, I haven't got a queue, so I probably, passes up, I could turn and drop a, a auto E auto into it, but, um, Probably just like trying to pull it down towards the bot would be better and seeing if they're paying attention enough to kind of like come and help. Okay. That sounds okay. And then you can't invade, right? Or blocked mm -hmm. off. Yeah. So you're pulling them down. And then from here, you can choose to go back to your jungle or recall. Mm -hmm. um... We pull him and he doesn't bite. A Zyra yeah. player doesn't buy it. Ridiculous. That guy's supposed to walk into us and die. So with the double full clear, if you don't recall, then it will be a little bit slower. But if your lanes are lanes that are like weaker into level six, it's fine. Find a farm like this. So, one of the things I definitely like, uh, I know I tend to do is I will do like a half the clear and then I will so I'll probably end up in this doing this doing chickens uh recalling and then oh. well aware it's a terrible decision I will probably then come back through my bonsai jungle and go towards dragon so this is like oh and fucking crocs I swear they're bugged in that like the little ones are bugged on the circle uh but yeah I know the little ones are bugged like they'll stay there if you don't kill them next golem spawn like they'll still be there mm -hmm. So right, you're saying that you skip two, you skip the two blue side camps and reset, and um, then go dragon. Sometimes I, mean, I can see Zach down there. Like I tend to, um, I know Vi is really good at like getting dragon by herself, so I do tend to like try to rush the first dragon. Like if I can be there, uh, not only when it spawns, but like if I can be there pretty quickly afterwards, then like and take it. Uh, I know I usually get it. So yeah, that's good. But it does depend on like what's happening on the map. If you're always farming your camps, then you can react to what's happening. Mm -hmm. So, and being able to react to what's happening versus like doing the dragon, because doing the dragon becomes a force. Yeah, until you're level six, we could play it slower. Sometimes you'll have that dragon. So right here, Zach ganks the Lulu, kills her. What are you thinking? Um, I probably should be just checking their like hit points, <laughs> seeing how they're doing. But um, I'm probably thinking that Dragon is gone, to be honest, uh, because they're all there. They've got bot dead, and like I'm unlikely going to be able to contest it. Okay. Um, so probably either Basin trying to speed up the clear with some items, or just carry on through the walls. Okay, if you base. Mm -hmm. imagine they're doing dragon you're At walking to wolves yeah. mm -hmm. they're doing dragon you get to wolves they finish dragon and then how do you spend the items against them if you got the uh, item advantage by recalling uh should probably push through to zach's red side really okay. try and try and find him if he hasn't spent his own stuff that could be a okay. Pentash reminds me of the advantage he has from killing the from getting the assist and stuff. Okay. That'd be fine. Mm -hmm. And then even if you don't find him, get a couple of his camps, then back to your blue side. You might even hit level six first. True. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking if they're doing 
if they if he gets that bot playoff, I want to go Wolves, and then if they start dragging, then I get Zach's red side. And uh-huh. it's chill. Because step one, get the farm. And if we recall right there, it's like wasting time. That's where it'd be scary for me. Just stopped in the middle of the lane there, apparently. That was good. Well than me. <laughs> so critical, so critical. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my, my are you was... okay with being a noob in this game for now though <laughs> or do you struggle um, with that no i do struggle a little i struggle with, it, with everything like i tried to get into digital art and i was like hey i've drawn like three pictures and i'm not like picasso i fucking quit so yeah <laughs> it is this game <laughs> yeah like i i am slowly getting better at it um to some degree and... okay um in the off season i played hearthstone and <laughs> Like, I hadn't played in forever, and I was just playing one deck, but then that deck was just, like, the standard card, so... And I upgraded that to, like, a better version, but I just played the one thing. So I had a very similar, like, timeline of what you're doing here on Vi. But I stayed a noob for quite some time. So but... I, I did the same with Hearthstone. I, um, I used to play it loads when it came out, and then I went back to it a couple of years, and I'd never hit legend on it and so i just literally played the same deck over and over and over and over and over until i got there so it's all it takes mm-hmm. but you know that like interim of just like kind of shit losing games slamming the cards is this the yeah. turn i spend it no damn and yeah. then do it again that's what i'm kind of looking for with the vi gameplay okay Job well done. Alawi's dead. So we kill the mid laner. There's no objective up. So what's your next priority? Um, farm. And farm some more. Uh, it gets wrong. Very nice. Sounds good to me. I'm annoyed at myself. I fucking looked at the camera. <laughs> I know that shouldn't be critical, but like, uh, I just saw Zach and even tap pan the camera up to top, so I knew he was up there. His blue should be up, and I didn't go. So. Yep, you yeah. can investigate his blue side and get this. Mm-hmm. When you're in the blue side, a little bit of Q over the wall into an ulti. Yep. Kind of chill. And then kill bot into our red side. You're joking. It's too good mm-hmm. to be true. Yep. So yeah, there he comes. He's path into his blue side, so it's up. So if I'd have been there, I'd have been just finishing his blue, moving down to find some minute memo. So yeah. Well, at least he moved to the bot side, though. Leaves the Rift Herald for us. Mm-hmm. I mean, so far, so good. Like, I'm not seeing, like, egregious, egregious yeah. skips. The main but it thing. ends at zero and six, so like it's got to get there. <laughs> so. Oh fuck, that's right. Wait, how? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I, yeah. I that is a good question. I don't remember. It was just kind of like yeah, blocked this one from my brain. Where was I going, Piora? That's <laughs> where I was going. <laughs> why am I going your brain? <laughs> no. Nah, okay. Why am I going Herald? Yeah, no, I should be going to Fiora. And this is dumb. Well, you didn't check. I'm thinking like yeah. if we go back to Hearthstone, right? Like mm-hmm. shit, shit, inting like those Hearthstone games was no problem. So this mm-hmm. shouldn't be any different. Mm-hmm. Like, we're bound to make mistakes, but let's make them mm-hmm. in a way in which we're going to be moving forward. Right. So we didn't look at Fiora. And why is it better to... You're, why do you think it's better for you to go top here instead of Rift Herald? So at this point, Pants at, like, a third health. Um, like, at the point where I was thinking that walking out is about half. So... I could have my ults up, um, yeah, could have got round there. I don't know if there's vision or not, but um, like she's, I can get round and land a few hits on her. There's no minion wave uh, right now, like um, there would be soon after, but like, yeah, it'd be, it just, it's a good time when she's pinned on the turret, right? To like, she's got a long way to run and I can chase her down. So, okay. So she's under this turret and then it's easier for you to respond. <laughs> the way I would put it is like she's, um, She's committed. She's gone in and like she's going to stay in. If she's all landing under turret like that. Anytime the enemy has a dash ability too, if whenever they go forward, that bad boy will be on cooldown. So they're, they're committed in for the time being. 
And whenever they've done that, then the buy has a pretty good like just answer to it. Whether she's like going front to back or a flank, like here comes that fist. Good luck. Mm -hmm. And also, I last saw Zach heading Bart side, right? So like, should assume he's somewhere in his blue side jungle. Right. And then if you so. gank top lane too, does that really slow down the Rift Herald? No. Although she, she did die at the same time, so I wasn't needed. So maybe if I had checked the health, like looking at it, like it wouldn't have. Like she had time to take what, like a turret shot there, maybe two. So I might have got a, an assist, but. Mr. Zach, okay. What are you thinking? Um. So, I mean, he's got red buff, I've got a level advantage, he is missing some health, uh, no top lane, Vygar's there, I probably kind of want to go on him, really, thinking about this. Like, I don't know if I did, but I probably want to, like, uh, yeah, my Q's about to come up, I've got ulti, I should try and take him here. Right, so you're, you think you're stronger than him, what does Zach have? I don't know what items he has, that's the only other thing I don't know. But I do know that he's, this is the first time I've seen him, thanks to a little pop-up there, so he probably has his ulti, but that's not, like, that's the diving one, right? I've not played Zach, so it's not, like, not a, you know, thing I'm going to engage, you know, I deal with it in mid-fight, right? So. Um, okay, and then how, yeah. how did he get into the pit? Uh, oh, he just used his jump, right? So he doesn't have Right, he used that yeah. jump. Guess how long that fucking cooldown is. Is it long? <laughs> oh god, let me find cool. out. Um, place your bets, under or over 17? Uh, I was gonna say like 18, 19, yeah. Okay, I'm going with 17. Wish me like a billion dollars on this bad boy. <laughs> oh, 24, what the fuck? Jesus. What okay. the fuck? And, but they get boots lucidity early, so actually... Actually, what is he? What is he max first? Because I don't even know. What, um, what, jungle, what he'll do it. like he'll, he'll just fucking max E if he's ganking. Sometimes right. they to do two, three points W for clear and then max mm -hmm. E, but sometimes they just max out E. Okay, so he used this jump on a 24 second cooldown. You're a level up, you probably have item advantage. Um, yeah, I should be going through that Herald of Q and then chasing him down. Right, the Q's up. Even better is just to walk right into him. Anytime mm -hmm. you can like walk up, auto E, auto, and then Q, it's somehow mm -hmm. the nuts. Okay. Because you can always follow whenever mm -hmm. they're running away. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're scared, you kind of figure it out, but then the Q in is a bit awkward. Yeah. And now you're really giving him some, some juice here. Okay. This off. So, why do you think this goes wrong? I'm a little bit scared of the thing. Missing that Q doesn't help at all. Um, and then I'm definitely like, I, I don't know if I double E straight away, but I think I probably did the whole button mash blow by load <laughs> um, kind of thing quite quickly. Uh, I don't know if I had the Herald Aggro or if that even mattered a huge amount. I didn't look at that particularly. Um, so missed the Q. Mm -hmm. Didn't go in fast uh, enough. He doesn't have like I have advanced offensive item advantage, so like I should have like, yeah. Right, but what's what's like Vi's damage against these tanks? It's the W's, the pat, the autos. It's like yeah, actually hitting and treading the armor. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. where I'm saying move into him, it's like that gives us a lot more time for autos moving. A E A A. Hello Blades is done. And mm -hmm. then our auto's on cooldown, so you could choose to Q. And then another auto that's two passive procs. And then we're back at it with the auto moving, auto, and then maybe auto E. And that's three passive procs with like every ability. Kind of chill. Yeah. Auto it's... more is definitely a thing I need to get better at. <laughs> well, I think you have to be confident just to move into them. Mm -hmm. And. Where I said you need to know just enough, just enough was like, hey, we're level seven. We probably win. Let's try this shit out. Let's right click this fucking guy. Show him who's boss. Okay. So, what do you think about that death? Um, 
that shouldn't have happened and I've got a horrible feeling I passed back towards Herald here in a second and this is probably where it all starts going horribly wrong. Um, the salty run back. Okay. Whenever our ultis are cool down and we just failed a fight, we definitely want a full clear. Because if you skip your camps right here, what's the issue? Um, so I'm behind on gold from the kills and behind on farm, so... I'm right. Weaker. I think if you want this Rift Herald, or even the mm -hmm. Scuttle Crab, like, look at the Soul lanes. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Um... Yeah, both have prio, so, like, not great. Um, probably should go towards Panth to be honest. Without the weather, Fiora is if she doesn't take the turret. Um, yeah. No, I'm, just, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose the fight if Zach's there and wants it. He's gonna have other people coming to back him up quicker than I am. So, right. And I think at this point that like if you start this and then they come, you lose, right? Mm -hmm. So what can you do instead? Full clear, or I head down towards Dragon. Yep, that's about all I'm oh. seeing. Mm -hmm. And then maybe another option, little funny cheese cue, good luck. Bronze Fjord, he won't repost. Okay, he's going in. I dare you to walk into him in auto E, I dare you. No. <laughs> yeah, there's the parry. I think the Pantheon asked me like why did I go back and I was just like why did you go in? Um Alrighty, what so, did the what did this cost us? This cost us the Pantheon dying and uh, okay. <laughs> okay. He so, had to go in, you know? Yeah. He's yeah. aggroed at that point. Mm -hmm. And then what else? Uh time farming. Uh probably getting down towards Dragon. Right. Well. Time, mm -hmm. they call it tempo in this funny video game, and then yep. the farm. And mm -hmm. the, the nuts of the farm, too, is that we end on bot side, therefore we can fight mm -hmm. for the dragon. Yeah. Because we want to we want to farm, right? Into mm -hmm. the play. So if we farm into bot lane and we win the play, then we can get the objective, which is the dragon. Mm -hmm. and that's really the whole nuts sequence right here. Whereas this is like, you go top, you better be sure. The play has to work out. Or else, like, you lose the enemy jungler just having, like, the better tempo over you. Yeah, makes sense. Good dog. Pantheon, that's our man. Oh, speaking of executioners, Zach Fiora Lowy, Jesus. Pick me Fiora. <laughs> Why back off, man? What the heck? Okay, we clear. How are we dead? Hold on, we were just clearing. <laughs> I think I probably tried to sneaky steal the dragon. It's uh oh, close. Mm -hmm. So, do you see the awkwardness of this? Like, it will always yeah. feel like this. And then that's why, like, if you stick to the same way, like, we can stick to the exact same items, the exact same runes, we can kind of do the exact same jungle clear for now, too. Because when you, it, when you do the variance plays like this, what's the problem? It's losing tempo, right? Well, it's risking it. If this mm -hmm. play doesn't happen top, if you're going to skip any of the camps for Fiora, then if it doesn't work out, then you're going to be slower than the enemy, and then it doesn't really work from there. Or at least the enemy has advantage, right? Yeah. So that's where, that's... yeah, that's where, like, farming plus doing it fast, like, goes such hand in hand. We farm this faster, we get to the bot side faster, we get to a real fight faster, we reset faster, so we can be in a position to fight faster. So whenever you're in game, what do you think would help you see like 
this sort of thing. In which, like, see the risk of Fiora and then also value the clear instead. What do you think? Because how do you see it right now in game? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I think, like, definitely, you know, <laughs> Bronze knew the the the, uh, the blinkers are on. I'm seeing Fiora under a t under a uh, turret there. Honestly, the part I'm most baffled about that play is why I went round the fucking river rather than uh, cutting through. Uh, but that's you know uh, for me to worry about later um yeah i guess it just needs to be like probably constantly trying to like just check how the junglers the other junglers doing and just like am i matching them on tempo just well you don't have to align with the other jungle yet that comes later right now it's aligning with your own jungle because you okay. do blue your wolves mm -hmm. are coming up but then also your red side is already up yeah so if these camps are up probably let's do them mm -hmm. and then look for plays after because you'll have a lot of time to play with you have about a minute and like 40 seconds to play mm -hmm. with when all the camps are dead so okay. for now i think whenever you go into games like at least the the smallest thing you could do is notice the camps that you're giving up when you find yourself being pulled towards the gang because that will happen you know yeah you have to concede that that will happen. It'll fucking happen to me today if I if I'm not focused. So. <laughs> right, and then I think that's a good next step. What do you think? Yeah, wait for me. Just yeah, you know, basically, if camps are up, on camps. Otherwise, they play. So. Um, notice the camps we are giving up after being magnetized. How long? Surely there's a magnet emoji. Magnet. Lol. Magnetized to a gank. I'm Sweet. 55 years old. I use the emojis. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck does that guy this way around? Um... And the Q charge. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. No, no ulti? L. No flash? L. Mm -hmm. Camps up? Yeah. L. Yeah. Go next play. Because then the next play is awkward because we're there at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. that will always be the case don't look at like how this one happened look at how you got there yeah that will tell you the truth and it's simple because it's always the first mistake you know it you don't have to have to know how the whole tree like plays out it just has to be where what's this let's fucking correct that you know yeah oh my god yeah. in software you know there's a wrong comma fix the comma guys not the rest of the code <laughs> yeah yeah it makes sense <laughs> uh I took a uh, programming class. It was a two-year one that had college credit in high school. And um, I would always just like chill max for most of the semester. And then when it came time to actually do like the projects that were so much of the grade, it was an easy like one, like three day thing. And then the entire class was done. It was very chill. Did you do any Pretty programming much. classes or did you just start did doing it yourself? Great. Did, did a whole degree in uh, computer games programming, so um, yeah, I was very much console fanboy and just like wasn't playing League, didn't have a gaming PC, um, ran on Macs, so I didn't play, like couldn't even be tempted, um, and then... Then a whole damn degree, it's kind of cool that those exist. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and yeah. surely that's like an international viability degree, at least if like you're good. Oh yeah, like for, for sure. Like um, you know, looking I, at you know, like to want to go work for Ubisoft or even Riot, or whatever. And then someone was like, oh yeah, you can't. You know, like like Riot had a thing where like you had to be like at least a certain rank to like <laughs> to work on League. <laughs> <like, "Yeah." laughs> which which I get, like you have to like know the game, right? Like that's yeah. fair. But, uh, uh, a certain rank too doesn't even show that you're good necessarily it might just show that yeah you play a lot yeah particularly around like um i don't know, like he's early um uh like mastery and stuff as well i've got one of my colleagues um occasionally plays and he just panics whenever he sees anyone with like 
a decent amount of mastery. It's like it just means they played it a bunch and got lucky a couple of times to get like <laughs> mastery seven. Like the like Heimerdinger main in bronze or something he has the most mastery points ever. He <laughs> just goes ham. <laughs> Two thousand games of Heimer a season. Okay, okay. So we've done a little loop de loop and pull, and then we did the Rift Herald. And now whenever you whenever you finish the Rift Herald, um, that's a that's a play in itself. Yep. So you can choose to reset off this because the play is over, and then you want to spend your gold and then get back onto the map. But why would that be? Uh, because because it's faster. This is a thing that's actually been in my head the last few games uh, that you said, uh, which is just the whole like get the rift and like at least use it once to base, right? Yeah, um, yeah. We have the tempo advantage. Yeah. So, but then also like I can take it anywhere, right? To go and drop it in a lane. So. Right, but if you stay with all this gold too, mm -hmm. like, and then do gromp, a fight happens mid. A little bit awkward, no? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So, I think that's honestly an important thing. Like, off the objectives. This took me so fucking long to learn, too. Like, my most play being, like, Vi and Belveth. Like, if you don't do the objective right, you lose. Oh, whoops. Shit, whoops. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, um, after finishing objective, uh, think, not think, uh, can base can is a question you like that mm -hmm. i'm writing in the bible or something weird thee thou said unto thee mm -hmm. like would you would you have even stayed for the scuttle there or would you just base straight away scuttle's fine you know mm -hmm. little free snack plus one camp on the enemy jungler no problem yeah, yeah. but cool. yeah and then watch the uh the time it takes to go to gromp mm -hmm. yeah fair Especially when I go this way for some <laughs> Give yourself some slag, you know, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, I was just like... They hire a new software engineer. He does not have an, a degree, you know? He puts, yeah, in, he puts in the funny, like, copy-paste code. You gonna be that mad at him? <laughs> He's doing his best. <laughs> and then the gromp is done. Mm -hmm. That's okay, slow. Okay. We need to be yeah. fast. We need to be fast. I could condemn, like, anyone forever to be slow, but... I think really like it's just more fun to chase being fast. It makes the game more fun to play. Like it's really the juice in league. Like kill these fucking get this camp out of here. I got places to be. And then this isn't going to make no sense no matter what you do. Yeah, this doesn't go well. Well, what's the goal really? <clears throat> um so when I pinged it was all kicking off and it's kind of like calm down a bit now but i've definitely think they hang around for it all to kick off again and uh yeah i don't really i was like maybe like come in assist on the fight if we win it take mid turret and push but like yeah, i was mostly just like i saw there were other people pinging for stuff and i was you know okay and then you just show up i see but the blinders on north went so not, not really aligned with anything so um to break it down a little bit it's like we're breaking we're breaking rules one we skipped our farm two we did not win a play we didn't win a play so then we can't do the objective yet the objective being the enemy turret so like there was no successful gank um mm -hmm. and so then if we're all just stacked up like this and so is the enemy they're probably winning like given the rest of what's going on here whatever yeah. Caitlin's doing so first since you've skipped your farm you still have to get the playoff first so if you want that then let's go to the sidelines like you mentioned yeah be here and then you have a chance for a play and this is pretty low percentage and good luck because these guys don't deal much damage yeah realize that okay so that low health on the Alawi as well was like there. I, this might be the one where I, I did get absolutely CC'd to living fuck though. Like this is one of the things <laughs> I'm talking about. So and I think I, I even think I mentioned it in the chat. Like yeah, like point three of a second where I wasn't CC'd in that fight. Um, uh, which is just like I was in the wrong place. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. The game yeah. is screwed right here. Um, yeah. 
the steps that you took, like just a, a couple, like one, two awkward missteps with all mm-hmm. losing lanes, the entire game will be like shut down. And the only defense you really have against this is going to be like consistently doing like at least two full clears, getting level six. And then after you use that ulti, after you do the play, after you get the objective, resetting, and then back onto the full clear. No matter what happens, when, when these yeah. camps are up, for now you can put the blinders on and clear them all. Yep. Because let's say you clear from here to here, and then you're in the, the river. If there's a play right there, awesome. Play there, play there, or into topside. And then we just branch out once again. And if there's no plays there in all that time, it's a chill little reset. Golems are coming up. Something like that, because that will make you consistently strong and be able to contend at like any stage in the mid and late game. Okay. Cool. Oh, I'll just get that. Um, yeah, try and blind his on for farming. So. Yeah. So that's our time. Are you okay with stopping here in the replay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's all good. Alrighty. So, I think it's 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 one of those things, right? It's as like you said, it's like it's lost there. It doesn't really matter what else happens. Like, it's kind of like. Um, I think I was watching a Coach Curtis thing where it was just like, yeah, you know, like they look for the first mistake and that's it. They give up. They're like, yeah, cool. The game's lost. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's usually the same patterns too. So, mm-hmm. alrighty. What awesome. do you think? Thank you very much. For that. Was this helpful? Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I'm gonna, yeah, stick with the build path, stick with the the uh, the clear path, and just like focus on the camps and see how we get on. So, um. Yeah, definitely want to do like a. Probably see how I get up for a bit, and then I'll come back for like a live coaching because I do think I like would benefit from someone like poking me as I go, but like I'll take this into practice first before I do like get there. So, okay. yeah, the live coaching's hard. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> plays worse than one up, but they're usually fun. Alrighty, man. Good talking cool. to you. Yeah, yeah, hope I help, Catch and you. I'll talk to you later. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.